Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. It's been a while since I made an editing video, but this is really cool what I'm about to show you guys. Today, I'm going to show you how to color grade your images in less than one minute using LUTs. And what are LUTs? LUTs are lookup tables that are used mostly by filmmakers around the world. They shoot with a very flat profile out of their camera so they can maintain a lot of dynamic range. Then they use the LUTs to bring their images back up, probably boost the colors or probably grade your images. So basically LUTs are used by filmmakers, but you can use LUTs in Photoshop and I think you can use some specific ones in Lightroom and Capture One. Those ones are from LUTifyMe.com. You guys can check them out, but it's a paid service. Now, if you want free LUTs, you can always go on Google and type free LUTs. There are a lot of people on YouTube that have free lots out you can just search for them there are like a ton of free lots out there but if you want paid ones you can check out services like lotify me and some i think there are a lot of other services some youtubers actually sell their lots so definitely check that out too so how does it work in photoshop now the first thing you're going to do is bring your image into photoshop so we have an image in photoshop right now then the next thing we'll do is come down to our adjustment layers right here and click our color lookup now, Photoshop has some lots in it and you can use those lots to get great images or to grade your images um, from, from the start. So I'm going to come down here, up here, sorry, I mean, so you see 3D lots up here, um, click this, then you can pick any lot that Photoshop has in here. So let's just pick this Fuji Kodak lot and you can see it's graded your image, like boom, that's it. Then you can click another one, pick another one and boom, you have another graded image. This is, you know, just probably... Too much but you can always reduce your opacity from here just you know pull down your opacity depends on what you want now if you want to go the extra mile and you've downloaded lots or you've bought lots all you have to do is come to this 3d lot place again click it then come up here to load 3d lot and i have some lots in here that i really like so let's just pick one of these ones let's see this one because i'm a till and orange kind of guy and yeah i love how this looks this looks great so this is our before and this uh, after pretty simple nights nice. don't forget our opacity is low so let me just take this up so you see how much it is look at how it's added a greater image and it's made our image pop from the beginning so look at uh, before after before after just looks really great and this is like less than one minute all you have to do is i just deleted that or oh, i'm just trying to show you guys again how quick this happens all you have to do is come here to your color lookup load a lot this particular one that we're using and click OK and bam you have color graded your image you've changed your image from this to this and it's not like you can't do more with this you can always reduce your opacity you know you can reduce your opacity you can use the blend if option to remove um, the grade from like the highlights or the shadow so if you want to take out the grade from the highlights here all we have to do is come to our blending options here right? and We'll come to our underlying layer and just pull in our whites as you can see it looks weird but we're just going to blend it in by holding alternate and once you hold alternate and click and drag it's going to split this and we've removed this from our whites quickly so we removed it from our highlights in our image and we only have it in our shadows and mid-tones and it just looks great like it's just so much you can do with this particular technique and so much you can get out of this so this is our greater image this is one image that we've just graded like i said i'm a till and orange kind of guy um if i want to do more for this image what i'll do is create a new layer um if you guys know me you know i love my vignettes so i probably add it to like almost all my outdoor images so um, make sure that I have the radial gradient ticked. This is my gradient tool right here, radial gradient. Because my blacks are on my left, I'm going to reverse this and just hold my shift key so I can drag a straight line down. And bam! Change it to soft light. My Change my blend modes to soft light and um, reduce this. So you guys can see, just a nice image now and that thing i might like to do or i like to do in this image is reduce my saturation because it just looks too saturated so somewhere around here just works for me so let's put all this in a group command g and see how before and after look at what we've done in like in one minute if yes so more than one minute because i'm showing you guys but if you were to do this on your own or do this for a lot of images you do this in less than one minute and we've graded this image so let's move to the next one this is a picture of wheezy he's a filmmaker um that i shot while we're in abuja working together so i'm just going to come to my color look up again 
load 3d lots probably just pick one out of all this and see what it looks like so this is what this looks like bam we get this image again um, we can always reduce our saturation because it tends to have like a little bit too much saturation for my liking just reduce our saturation just a little bit um, so this is what this looks like so I'm just going to put this in a, in a group before after before after giving this that till and image um, till and orange fill again great so let's move to the next image all we have to do is come to our color lookup table again 3d lots load at 3d lots um just pick one out of everything that's here click ok bam this is what this looks like um like i said i tend to want to reduce the saturation so i'm just going to go to hue saturation and drop my saturation just a little bit and we've changed this image let's put this in the group command g again put in a group so this is the before and this is the after now it does not have to be tail and orange you can use different um lots you can use the ones in photoshop like i said we can always pick this ones right here and use something like this or use something like this or use something like this you can just go around till you find something that that absolutely works for you and something that you're comfortable using so yeah that's it this is how to color grade your images in less than one minute simple straight straight to the point it's not like hard to do as long as you have um, lots that you've downloaded online you can use them to get great 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 results so this is the first one that we did you guys can see the drastic and dramatic change that you know we made to this image in less than a few minutes here yeah. i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you've learned something from this video this is a technique that i'm going to be using from now on especially for my outdoor images and i use it when i color grade videos too but i never use it as much in photoshop because i do a lot of beauty images but if I, anytime i shoot outdoors or anytime i shoot something that is different i'll definitely be using this it just makes my work easier and it just makes everything nicer for me so yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it um, tells youtube that you know you have to show this video to other people and you know then i get more views and i get more subscribers and you know the goal this year is to hit 50k subscribers that's the goal this year so please give this video a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel and if you haven't if this is your first time here thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe hit the bell icon so you can be one of the first people to know when i put up a new video also comment below let me know if this has helped you in any way and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching my video my name is prince mason and have a great 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 week peace